Another tool for internal analysis is the financial analysis tools. The things that are used to analyze the financial performance. Yeah. So financial analysis, it mainly looks at the financial ratios. And this is where ratios are computed to determine the financial performance and financial position of the organization. Ratios computed must be compared with past performance or past records of the company. You compute the ratios for this year and then you compare them with the ratios of last year yeah, to see whether there is an improvement in performance or there is a decline in performance. Then it must be compared with the industrial ratios to find out whether you're performing well. After that, you can compare with the overall ratios of the industry to see if you're really on the same pace. And that is financial ratios. We have mainly four types of financial ratios. And the first one is the profitability ratios. Profitability, as you hear, it is from the word profits. So these ratios are used to assess whether the business has succeeded in making an acceptable level of profits. Yeah, an example of profitability ratios, we have things like gross profit margin, net profit margin, return on equity, then return on capital employed. And those are the main four profitability ratios. Gross profit margin, net profit margin, return on equity, then return on capital employed. Another ratio we have is the liquidity ratios, and this is used to assess or to measure the ability of the business to pay its debts as when they followed you. Yeah, whether the business has enough cash to pay its debts, especially the short-term debts. And there are mainly two liquidity ratios, and that is the cash ratio and the quick asset ratio or the acid test ratio. Then another type of ratio we have is the GRE or solvency ratios, also known as the investment ratios. And these ones, they help the users to decide whether or not a business is worth investing in. And an example of the GRE or solvency ratios, we have the dividend cover, the price earnings ratio, the dividend yield, capital gearing ratio, and so many others. Then lastly, we have the efficiency or activity ratios. And these ones are used to assess whether the assets of the business have been efficiently used and managed. And an example of the efficiency ratios, we have the asset turnover. We have the inventory holding period. We have trade receivables collection period and then the trade payables payment period. And those are the main four efficiency ratios. Asset turnover, inventory holding period, trade receivables collection period, and trade payables payment period.